Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Designs by Akshu and today I am back again with a very amazing video that is creating or you could say converting your 2D plan to a beautiful and easy 3D model. So now we'll start with a video and basically as I have told you that this video is all about converting your 2D plan to a beautiful and easy 3D model. And in this video, I am going to explain you the basic rules, the basic steps, which are going to be very easy and you need to be follow because there are some errors later on which you could find it out after creating a whole big huge house. Okay, so to avoid those errors and um, when you start using a solid inspector tool in uh, sorry an extension called as solid inspector after creating your model and you find a number of errors into it then this is going to be very messy today's video is very easy firstly what we have to do is take your 2d plan and first we have to be very perfect in 2D drafting because this plan has been drafted by one of my colleague and I have fi find it out that found it out that many errors are there or you could say many errors. I have seen like the one I'm, which I am showing you right now and due to these errors i could not draft a 3d model that too perfectly because i could see many errors which are not even you know bearing one oh, because this plan is all about lines and if your lines are not straight if your lines are not joined to each other and some unknowing lines are present you cannot go and insert your 2d plan and start creating a 3d model this is not going to work so the very first rule of today's video is be clear with your 2d plan now be clear with your 2d plan it means look towards the doors and windows which need to be deleted but before that make a copy of your plan so that if you delete any of the window or doors and if you want to know that where was the window and where was the door so you can look for the another plan which we have copied right now so this is going to be helpful for you later on so now I am just deleting the railings, the windows, the doors. The window, the window, the railing. Actually, why am I telling you and why I have chosen this plan as a, I could say a way to show you that how there are some mistakes in plan and later on when you create after creating a 3d model you get to know oh no there are so many mistakes and i could not fix it right now because i have created my whole model and i have started rendering and my model is getting too lagged and it is not even the interface is not moving properly and I have too many glitches in my model. So all these things, if you want to avoid it, it is better to be very perfect in your 2D drafting. So right now, I have cleared all the windows, all the doors, all the railings, all the projection lines which you could see so this these are my projection lines which even i don't want these also into my drafting 3d model interface
I'll just trim these lines. See, what kind of structure is this? Can you even just create it? No. So basically, be perfect in 2D. Actually, this is not my drafted plan. This is created by my one of my colleague. And it may happen many a times that you will face such problems in AutoCAD because I think Revit and AutoCAD are in competition. I think so. And I think Revit is the best. Maybe. I think the legends would get my point. And... Okay, now you would be thinking that why am I deleting these lines, the internal lines? The reason is I want to create a single wall, okay? I want to create single wall. I don't want the pieces of wall, okay? So that's why I am trying to do so. Make sure your corners are joined to each other. And even I'll tell you a great method to identify how to identify whether your lines are joined or not. So don't leave until you see all the content please because every part of the content is very important and i think the internal lines are being cleared up till here now i could see a dark part over here it means the lines are overlapping exactly yes the lines were overlapping and i've deleted them even these lines are not joined actually this is the left part and i don't want it so i'll just delete it off Okay, this is the entrance door of this plan and this is the flat system, okay? And these are the common stairs for each floor of the building. And we don't want these stairs and all. We are just cre going to create the flat walls. Sorry. Okay, now I think I have deleted the unnecessary things and what I'm going to do is select this plan, okay, and carefully observe all the points. See, what is this now? Is it going to be very important in my plan? No. <laughs> of course not. Again, select the plan. Carefully look whether the points are joined or not. And yes, I'm going to tell you, I think these lines are overlapping.
no okay again select it anywhere any error okay now if you have carefully observed ye to horizontal line hai ye wali okay the pointer on to which i am pointing this is the line which is horizontal then what this indicates okay so this is the greatest method to observe wherein your points are joined or not the two points of your two different lines so now basically this is my horizontal line and for horizontal line this is the indication of two lines meeting each other or joining each other okay but this indicates that the lines are joined but they are joined in another way like for example this so to avoid this delete it and make sure you're joining the same line in horizontal manner with the other point i'm snapping this point and then snapping the another point and ta da it is joined in the same way observe everywhere carefully whether anything again in the same way this is the line which carries straight indications now what this horizontal indication doing here tumhe kaise pata chala tumhe kaise pata chala right again the same thing the lines are crooked then take the point and join it it's better if you join it to the last and just trim the extra part okay yes and now select your whole plan and press g this is going to join your many separated lines to make one single line okay so i think we are done and we'll do it as save as save as 3d model yes replace it and now we are going to import your this plan to sketchup file so you have the option in sketchup as file click on it then you you have to come down and select the option called as import click on import and wherever you have saved your cad file file 2d plan cad file select it make sure the options you keep as it is and if you are having like you have to change the unit of your plan then you can change the unit of the plan from the units given over here centimeters millimeters feet inches or the model units model units it means the units which are the original ones and i don't want to do it so so i'll press it okay and click on import close and hence your file has been imported now to check your unit is correct or not okay the very first rule when you are importing your plan 2d plan into sketchup the very first thing is you have to press t on your keyboard and you have to check and you have to check whether the dimensions are correct according to the plan you have drafted in autocad okay 
so now you have to press T on your keyboard and check whether the direction the dimensions are correct so it is 11.1 feet so of course yes the plan units are correct okay now what you have to do is you have to press L on your keyboard for the command of line and then after pressing L on your keyboard this is the pencil tool which allows you to create lines from one point to another okay look so by joining from start point to the end point a surface has been created similarly you have to do this thing for all the lines okay without exploding your group you don't have to explode it because this is the easiest method to draft your plan okay now we have already created all the surfaces of our walls and now what we are going to do is select this group okay which we have imported the plan which we have imported and just move it by locking your axis so that if any error in this plan okay if we find it some uneasy for us we can drop this plan again back to its original position by keeping one point to the other point okay so it will be easy for us and the next thing is you have to select all these surfaces and right click onto it and make group okay now why we are making groups and it is advisable for everyone that be very perfect in making groups and working in groups itself it means what is meant by working in group is if you double click onto this group it means your creation process is within these boundaries okay the lines which are visible okay these are the boundaries onto which i can create okay it means i'm just working on to this group i cannot create on this group okay like line and all okay the points will not even snap properly so whatever the working will be it will be worked in this group and even if i draw a line okay and i press escape okay and if i click on this plan then this line will be included in this group okay remember anything you draw into the group that thing will be added into that group so if i delete it it means this is this is the surface or this is the interface onto which i'm going to work now so basically now it's time to create your walls basic walls and for that we have the tool called as press pull or push pull and push push and pull face entities to sculpt 3d models so the shortcut key on your keyboard is t okay you have to go on to that surface press once the control key on your keyboard okay i'm telling again press p on your keyboard and click control on your keyboard and then left click on to this surface and drag it okay and you could see the distance over here right so at what distance you want your wall so this is the height of the wall and the standard height of wall will keep it as 10 feet so 10 feet you could see your distance okay if i enter it as 10 feet so this is going to be my 10 feet i've pressed t for measuring tape so it is 10 feet right 
so basically you have to do this for all the walls but the shortcut for doing it for all the walls is either you take plug-in for push-pull that is the joint push push-pull uh, extension or the plug-in best trick I am going to tell you is once you create one of the wall okay now to create all these walls is you have to work on only your mouse okay so you have to press your uh, left click on your mouse two times okay go to that surface onto which you want to push pull it and go to that surface and left click two times okay and your wall is being created done this is the quickest method to create your walls so note it down this is the key feature uh, point you could say that I'm going to tell in this video which I've told already so now again I'm going to press control or click control on my keyboard and then go to that surface and double click and my wall is created and I'm done no need to go to that surface press control and then enter the value every time no need to do that Okay, so go to that surface, press control and double click. Press control, go to that surface, double click. Same process again. This doesn't consume a lot of time and you don't even need to purchase any sort of joint push pull tool and etc. If you have a lot of money, you can. Okay. double. <laughs> I don't have a lot of money so this is sort of jugad I'm doing but I think this jugad is helping me out so yes this is what I work on so I think we have created our walls basic walls okay and now the only remaining part is the windows and doors and adding the lintels and seal levels to it and it is very important in our interior design and architectural field that we should know or we must know the seal and uh, lintel levels and the standard uh, dimensions of it and if any one of you maybe don't know or maybe everyone knows that so I'll be guiding you uh, for the seal and lintel levels how to add them and how to add the windows over here now and it will be easy don't worry and this is going to be the only part one video into which I have shown you the walls basic walls structure in the next video I am going to show you how to construct your windows and doors how to add seal and lintel levels and then move on to the slabs okay adding slabs how now this is not the correct rectangle right the surface is like from your and your then how you're going to create it slab that is also another tricky uh, question so all these things we are going to cover up in the next video this is the only video for your basic creating 3d walls so see you all guys in the next video Thanks for watching part 1. Hope so you will watch the part 2 video. Thank you. Bye bye.